What's up guys? Welcome back to another solo labeling arise video and today we're gonna be talking about the new developer notes. <clears throat> so let's see what's inside. So our team introduced the first update since our global launch last month and we are now gearing up for an even more significant mission the major update in June okay so in this developer note would like to talk about the improvements we have been considering the confirmed updates the feedback hunter have shared with us through the community so first up battle experience so <clears throat> recently as various tests as strategies regarding hunters and weapons have been conducted discrepancies have occurred between what is stated in the game tooltips and what is actually applied in the game we sincerely apologize for the confusion. Contrary to our intention, we also uh, received feedback in various communities regarding interruptions in battle experience. We will for you uh, of re uh, resolution of the issue. So first up is Min Yunggo. The power gauge recovery value in Min Byunggo's Divine Punishment uh, skill description will be changed from 5% to 50%. Ooh. Okay, so... That's huge. So it, it, it's like a, only a description, but damn, 50%? No, oh, we didn't know that. I didn't know that until now. So, and will be reflected as 50% recovery for the entire team rather than individual recovery. Oh, that's nice, bro. That's nice. Very huge boost. Then the description will be modified to match the current 50% application. Okay, it's only the description though, but damn, 50%? Nice, nice, nice. So, Min Bingo's Advancement Tier 1. So, A1. Description will be changed from Light Attribute to the entire team. Okay. It's not only for Light Attributes uh, Hunters, but also for the entire team. So, it is currently being applied to the entire team. Yeah. And then, the description will be modified accurately. Oh, so only the descriptions. Okay. So, descriptions only. So, I think it's the same effect, <coughs> but it's only the description. So, wow. Nice, nice, nice. So next is Seo Jiwo. Advancement tier 5 effect. Uh, critical hit rate was being applied at 32%. However, there was an issue where the combined total was not fully reflected when it was added to the other critical hit rate effects, which will be fixed. So please note that the final applied value may change due to the monster level based uh, critical hit resistance. Oh, that's why sometimes we can't quit even, uh, even though we are at a um, max crit hit like okay so that's why sometimes it's not like because there are there are uh, monster level based critical hit resistance okay so so soon if i get say ojewo then uh, i can uh, <coughs> i can experience what kind of effect that was uh, that is but let's see the effect of say was advancing tier 4 again a4 this uh the first one is a5 so increasing much HP by 15% of critical hit damage is currently being applied by converting the percent increase in the critical hit damage from artifact sets to HP. The description will be modified to make this clear. So I think it's on uh, <coughs> description only I think. So please note that the percent increases in critical hit damage, uh, critical damage from artifact sets, team buffs, exclusive weapon effects, etc. will be applied. However, numerical barriers uh, such as stats from artifact stats uh, will not be converted to HP. Oh, numerical values. Okay, so I don't know what that is. I. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. I think it's still good. Still good. So <clears throat> next is Song Jin Woo's exclusive weapon and skill rune. An issue where Night Killer's uh, telekinesis skill is not currently uh, uh, correctly applying to ten stacks, as intended, will fix to ensure that it's properly stacks up to ten percent. Okay, so SR. Weapon Night Killers for Song Jin Woo. Okay, so an issue where the demonic plump flower sword amplifying draw fails to trigger the fi uh, trigger the final hit in certain situations after activation will be fixed. Okay, so I uh, I didn't notice that. So an issue where the amplifying draw does not refresh when the full bloom skill is activated after a specific awakening of the demonic plump flower sword will be fixed. I also didn't notice that, but. Mm, it's okay, it's okay. So, issue where Sonjimu damage abnormally increases when using the Death Dance Wildfire Skill Rune. Death Dance Wildfire Skill Rune. Wait, let's see. 
Uh, what skill is that? Skill rune. Let's dance. So that is let's dance wildfire. Oh, this one. So damage increased by twenty percent when attacking enemies with their elemental weakness, right? Oh, that's why. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that's the reason they're uh, changing it or something. So, <clears throat> um, so will be fixed to ensure that damage increase apply normally when attacking the weakness attribute of the rune skill. Okay, I, and also not that bad. So dungeon issues and intermittent issue in chapter 17 with the HP of high orcs does not decrease below a certain level as intended will be fixed. Oh, high orcs. <laughs> Speaking of high orcs guys, those guys is tougher. Not tougher but it's really annoying to fight them because there are two of them. Uh, there is actually three. First one, you uh, will be facing one high orc and then uh, second phase. You'll be facing two high arcs with the minions, so that is really annoying stage. So you can, uh, if you if you reach chapter 17, then uh, you'll know what, uh, what I'm talking about, guys. So an issue where an arachne repeats certain actions in specific situations will be fixed. Arachne, uh, I think this is the spider. Arachne, arachnid, right? So let's see. Certain dungeon monsters uh, have a freeze resistance effect. Or they become immune to freeze for a certain period. The resistant effect is applied differently depending on the boss monster's attributes. For example, bosses like powerful destruction and you may be uh, maybe immune to effects like bleed. We have identified that there is an insufficient explanation regarding this mechanic, so we plan to enhance the description of status effect, resistance, and immunity in the dungeon entrance screen uh, to provide uh, clearer information. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. So that, that's that's also good. So we can uh, we can read the description for what is the resistances. So Min Byung Go, Seo Jiwo, um, <coughs> Song Jin Woo skill rune related adjustments will min uh, mention above will be implemented as soon as possible and will be announced through the separate notice. Okay, so any under inconvenience bugs may be increasing will be addressed and resolved in the next update. Okay, so let's see let's see if the Loading uh, issue is it will be fixed or will be further improved. So let's see, let's see. So as a token of appreciation, we have prepared a special gift for you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it's already here. So essence stones two thousand five hundred will be sent to the mailbox. Oh, so this is the two thousand five hundred uh, essence stones that we get uh, yesterday. So that's why. So additional details after the sch uh, schedule balance patch is completed. Another custom duo ticket times ten and skill rune chest times five. Ooh, that's nice reward. So the time and details of the balance patch will be announced later to a separate notice. Okay, okay, okay. That's nice. That's nice. So next is. Hunter Origin, our team uh, aim to expand the solid living universe by incorporating original hunters to the game. To achieve this, their stories needed to be seamlessly integrated into the game. So there are still numerous untold stories within the game, particularly those surrounding mysterious original hunters among them. We're eager to uncover the secrets of Alicia Blance. Oh! Alicia Blance recently joined the Great Raid Harbors a dark past. She lost everything in an accident during raid. She attended with her father and swore vengeance. Ooh, she lost everything in an accident during a raid. Oh, that's why she is cold, guys. She is cold towards uh, other hunters. Um, even Song Jin Woo, right? Maybe, maybe. So Alicia Blanche excerpt from the last raid of Astia Guild that day. Ooh. Ooh. Look at her face, bro. She can't. Uh, uh, she cannot expect that it it happens. So why Nina's grandmother treated her cold, uh, coldly, and what happened that day? Okay, so will be soon revealed. Uh, questions will be soon revealed in the upcoming Alicia Blanche episode. So please look forward. To it. Okay, so we will look forward to it. So growth experience over the past month, we have observed artifacts of our hunters at Canton Ku. Uh, to two conclusions hunters ideal sell artifacts with specific stats to earn gold yeah that's right that's right keep some enhanced artifacts as they are yeah that's right to earn gold 
gold bro we have uh, we hope that our hunters will enjoy various combat experiences by switching and enhancing multi four artifacts switching and enhancing multi four artifacts bro we need uh we need gold for that Obstac uh, one obstacle preventing you from fully enjoying this combat experience is a limited supply of artifact and en enhancement chip one obstacle bro there's two Artifact enhancement is en uh, enhancement chips and also gold. Improve the gold, bro. <laughs> improve the gold reward system. To improve this, we are preparing an event where you can use artifacts with non-utilized stats from the enhancement process to obtain items necessary for growth. Event again, event. Uh, I think that's limited only, bro. So we're uh, we expecting improving the uh, gold rewards, bro. Gold rewards. <laughs> <laughs> we will provide further details uh, separately. So, faction skill, uh, faction of the shield skill up. So, this is for the cheaters. So, cheaters is not welcome in game. So, cheaters cannot escape the vigilance of the hunters association surveillance team. Okay, so I think that's all for the developers' notice, bro. Although it's not a lot, but that's a huge W, bro. So that's all for the um, developer notes. Uh, next up, I will uh, maybe this this will be uh, a huge possibility, guys. So uh, last time, right? Uh, we'll get to uh, so see Alicia uh, Blanche almost always in the lobby, and then she will uh, she is the next character that come uh, that shows up. So I think there's a huge possibility that's, that this character will be added up in the next update, bro. And it's no other than this girl. Maylin Fisher. Look at that, bro. Look at that. Look at her. Oh, she's beautiful, bro. She's also beautiful. With the tail. It's like a uh, neko girl oh so we'll look forward into it so we'll see future uh, uh, update details so to confirm if she will be the next character so that's it for today guys be sure to like and subscribe for a future solo leveling arise video and this is shadow here and see you guys on the next one.